Um, right, I'm going to talk about five books that have changed my life. I would start with a book called The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton that I read first when I was a teenager and then again when I was recovering from depression in my 20s. It was the first book I read when I was young that really made me feel like books were, weren't just something there to do you good. They weren't like all brand. They could be entertaining, they could be fun, they could be a friend to you. And I think the fact that it was written by a teenager, a teenage um, woman who was 19, I think, when she wrote it, um, added to the sort of authenticity of it. So I'd definitely say The Outsiders. Um, I would also say a book called Cosmos by um, Carl Sagan, who um, in the 1980s, he was a sort of American Brian Cox, I suppose, who was popularising ideas about the universe and space and he made me realise I was actually interested in science because at school I, I thought I wasn't a science person and I got like an F in GCSE science and it took me a long time to get over that and to realise that I, I, science was a very inspiring poetic thing. I would say, uh, I mean I've liked all her books but I, if I, I picked one because of the age I read it I would think um, Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson is a very um, very important book for me because it showed me how powerful simple words could be because before I read that book I was quite a pretentious writer and a pretentious reader and I thought you needed always for sort of most sort of long-winded way of saying everything but Jeanette Winston's work is such force in such a sort of compact space so for my writing I think Jeanette Winston has been um, very important. A book that I like to have on my shelf just to um, sort of dip into now and then because I like exploring philosophical ideas um, but it, you know I, I, I'm not always prepared for the really sort of dense texts but one that was quite easy for me is Bertrand Russell's History of Western Philosophy where he sort of talks about everything in Western philosophy um, from the ancient Greeks up until the middle of the 20th century when he wrote it, um, is a book that I often dip into. Straw Dogs by um, John Gray it probably changed my mind on things. It's a very good book about the human's belief in progress and how, how we're quite arrogant as animals to actually believe that we have progress just because we have technological progress. I think certainly in our sort of quite scary times, with people worrying about nuclear weapons and things like that again. It's quite important to remind ourselves that we are just animals and we ha our brains haven't changed in 150,000 generations. Mm -hmm.